we had a good run. I thought, man, we've cleared out all the BS. Smooth sailing with the Ford Bronco, right? No. Ford. W. T. F. What is going on, All Terrain Nation? Today on the show, that is right, we're going to talk about some uh, some head scratchers with the Bronco once again. That is right. So let's go into the history of this just slightly. We'll do the uh, Cliff Notes version. If you uh, are new to this and you're wanting to order the Bronco, pay attention. Anyway, so 2020, we did the reservation process. They took in over 190,000 orders by December of that year. December of that year, we were supposed to get to order these vehicles. Well, they pushed it back, you know, a month. Not a, not a big deal considering, but it was kind of a bummer. So you get your, you do your reservation, you convert it to an order. Some dealers decided, well, now nah, if you're going to do that, we're going to nail you for five to ten thousand, fifteen thousand dollars more. People tried to move their reservations. Long process, you know, Ford allowed that for one year. And then they, now you cannot move your reservation. Well, we get the hard top issue, which, uh, you know, is what it is. We get the 2.7 liter issue, which is, I swear, was overblown. It was just by a fellow journalist looking for a news story. But uh, a lot of headaches have come with the Bronco. But we thought, okay, we've got a year under our belt. They're bringing out the Raptor. Ford said with the Raptor, hey, we're going to treat our reservation holders who've been waiting and I think they, they said this was a thank you to them. And the funny part about that is if I've been waiting for, say, two years for or a year and a half for a, a big bend hardtop, whatever I, I wanted, and it's taken this long, I don't think the thank you was, hey, my $35,000 truck, oh, here's a thank you. Pay us $75,000. And that's not even if the dealership kind of Fs you and uh, charges you $100,000 for that Raptor. But Ford did what I thought was proper. They offered it to that. And, of course, we're in the weird after pandemic world of uh you know price gouging so we thought that smoothed out with the raptor people are getting their raptors everybody's been happy all the things on the forefront have been real smooth till well today and we only have to go over to ford's not official ford forum bronco nation and uh our friends over there laura wrote this little piece up and uh we we're just going to go through the highlights of it and i will pop it up how about right here and um, it says, uh, this is a notice to anybody who successfully, successfully ordered the Heritage Limited Edition. And if you're new to this, they did two over the Woodward Dream Cruise. They announced that they were going to do a Heritage Throwback Edition, which uh, people were kind of hoping would happen. But, uh, you know, Ford never gave us an official, hey, this is happening. But they're going to do a, uh, a Big Ben version with the painted roof. Uh, you get a lot of cool little little treats about it. Makes it a little plus version of that. Or you can get the uh, the you know the big the big version the badlands version which has got everything in it and uh it was going to be limited to at the time they said 1966 now i had told everybody in my audience here that uh they would do 1966 two doors and 1966 four doors well according to uh the bronco nation here that has been confirmed now which is weird because i've not seen an official press release from ford about this so i'm not sure how they got this hmm Anyways, um, but Laura's got the announcement here of, uh, it says the Heritage Limited Edition has uh, had the community intrigued since the first rumors of it. Speculation of a white roof, wheels, grill, and legacy-inspired legacy colors, if I could say, talk tonight, uh, kept people from converting their reservations and had others 99ing, which is pausing your order, uh, in hopes of getting a trim one day, which is complete and utter BS. Nobody, and I mean nobody, was like, you know what, I did this reservation in 2020, I'm just going to take a shot that they might do this in three years. Uh, but that's sales tactics. So anyways, it says, With the August announcement of the Badland Heritage Base Limited Edition grew interest. And I will say there was a lot of interest. I had a lot of people emailing me about, hey, what do you think of this? You know, what are my opinions of it? Which I think is very, very cool, by the way. Um, but firm details weren't actually released on how to uh, do the reservation process for one of these. So people were going to their dealers. They were asking their dealers how they do it. The dealers like, okay, order banks open up here. When that happens, we will do it. And some dealers are like, hey, we're going to upcharge for this thing. And some people are willing to do it. And some people aren't. Now, I'm one of the people who I didn't think the first edition was going to be a collector's item. I still don't. And I also don't believe the Raptors are any type of collector's edition. But I do think these are actually going to be somewhat of a collector's edition. Now, if you want to drive it, have fun with it, do it. But if you want to park it in your garage and only take it out on Sundays, it might be a better option. Anyway, so... Unfortunately, for the customers that got to, to get their uh, orders they thought in, 
Ford, Ford uh, just recently shared to the dealers that uh, those orders would be canceled and that those customers would have to reorder just in the normal stock. That these orders now are only, and this is the funny part, only for dealer stock. Now, Ford continually is upset with dealers. They're, oh, we gotta, we can't have these dealers overcharging for anything. Oh, it's just, a, it's just, it's bad. It's not us. It's not us. It's them. You know, it's like they're breaking up with their dealers or something. It's not you. It's me. Uh, but anyways, they, uh, what is this going to do to now that it's only dealer stock? That eighty thousand uh, dollar Bronco is now, I guarantee you, one hundred forty thousand dollars. I guarantee you. If you want that bad boy, it's going to cost you because two of the colors you can get when they start building them late spring next year, and one is further off, and that's all Ford ever said. Well, now come to find out, according to uh, according to Bronco uh, Nation over here, this is going to the Ford said the dealers will receive receive the last one of the three thousand nine hundred and thirty two limited edition Broncos, two and four door by the way, in either twenty three or twenty four. Ford, just be honest and be like, look, this is a two-year process. This is going to be a limited edition deal, and that's it. Now, while I think in 24, they bring in a couple extra colors, and they just constantly do this as 1966, which I think is a smart way to keep something very uh, special. But they've not been really honest with their customers about this, and it's kind of, uh, as you can tell, I might be a little, uh, little upset about it. Now, in the comments, I'm curious, did you order or did you think you ordered a Bronco uh you know, Heritage Limited Edition. And uh, have you even noticed, did your dealership call you yet? Because I do have a feeling that some of these dealers, they've been sneaky all the way through this process and they might just go ahead and convert your order into something they want to order. And uh, when it comes in, you might be disappointed. But I would definitely check with my dealerships on it because there are solid dealerships out there. And uh, there's a lot of them trying to do the right thing. Now, it's for just messing up this somehow and uh you would think a, a multi-billion dollar company would figure out in the past three years of all this bs going on with this one vehicle i'm not even talking about maverick that you would figure out how to do this process and uh make it smooth so that uh you know people want to buy it can afford it they can do it i mean look at the gt500 or look at the gt Jesus, you have to send a resume in for that one so anyways in the comments below let me know what you think so whether it be two-wheel drive well, I guess it's only four-wheel drive, and we're not we're not going to drive that Bronco uh, limited edition, are we? It's been your all-terrain nation. I'm going to save Boyd. We're out. Peace, everybody. Bye.